Hi Leos, welcome to my channel, Astro Love Tarot. I hope that you guys are having a fantastic month so far. This is going to be a love reading for all of my Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus Leos for April 2021. This is also a general love reading, so not every um, message I give out into this reading is going to resonate with you. So just take that into consideration while watching. Um, you can also check out some of my future past videos alongside with your Moon, Rising, or Venus signs. Also, cross watchers, this is a safe place for you guys as well. So just keep that in mind while watching. The rules could be vice versa. So Leos, we do have the Nine of Swords wanting to pop up at the very beginning of the deck. So you could be dealing with an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But there's just something... I feel like somebody is trying to sneak back into your energy right now. I'm seeing somebody that you've been thinking a lot about, Leo. Okay. Definitely someone with air in your char their chart for sure. You could also have a lot of air in your chart. I think that you've been reminiscing on the past, Leo. I'm seeing here, somebody has um, been getting into your head. Maybe you feel, you feel, maybe you feel in your, um, something is telling you maybe that somebody might be coming back into your presence soon. Something like, I feel like you might be having a psychic moment, Leo, where you feel like somebody is wanting to come back in or somebody is thinking a lot about you at this time. We do have the Page of Swords coming out as well into this reading. I think that you've been, um, you might be going through your social media and might run and accidentally see a photo of this person, or you might accidentally find out something on social media about this person that you weren't expecting to find out, I'm hearing. It doesn't have to resonate with all, but I also see the energy here, just like thinking a lot about this person. Um, but I also see that they're thinking a lot about you as well. This could be their energy coming through as well. You're just feeling... I Feel the energy that, like I said, look at this card right here. See how, like, the person um, at the tent is, like, kind of in cover, like, covering, you know, like, covering themselves, trying to stay safe, um, away from the swords, away from anything bad. Um, and I feel like right now you are trying to keep your heart safe. You're trying to keep your heart, um, keeping your feelings safe, keeping yourself safe from getting hurt. But I do feel like there is someone trying to creep in. There's someone trying to, like, get into your good graces. Someone trying to come back into your life. But I feel like you're not, like, you're kind of, like, avoiding it. You're not wanting to confront this person. You're not wanting to talk to this person right now. I'm hearing you kind of just, you just need time. I'm hearing you. You're just, like, you're just needing time to yourself to just figure out what you truly want. You're definitely thinking about a lot about what you want, though. You're definitely thinking about the right moves here. Like, what should I do? Where should I go? Should I, should I let this person back into my life or should I move forward? And some of you Leos are you're thinking a lot about this person and what to do. Okay. You could also be dealing, like I said, with a younger air sign for some. Okay. The lovers. Oh my gosh, yeah. Leo, this is someone you definitely have a strong emotional connection with. Somebody, somebody that, um... This could also be like somebody new entering your life, but I definitely feel like this is the person that you are currently connecting with right now. You do have a strong emotional connection with them. The lovers of Lily Potthats could be a soulmate energy. There's just something that brings you two back together, something that bond, like you just, you both bond over something. Maybe you have a similar history, a similar past, but there's also a part of you that's very different from one another. You have differences about one another, but it brings, those differences are very attractive to the other person. You're very attracted to their differences and they're very attracted to the differences of you that they have with you. I feel like whenever you guys talk to each other, it's almost like a mirror effect. Maybe you see a lot of yourself in this person. Maybe you see a lot of fears that they have in them and it's also the fears that you have. I don't know why I'm hearing a mirror effect here. Like just feeling like this person is mirroring you almost. Like maybe you guys mirror each other's actions. Maybe when this person is not talking to you, you don't talk to them, vice versa. Or maybe when this, when things are going so well, when you start engaging with this person, this person's engaging equally back to you. It's like an equal give and take, I'm hearing. But definitely a strong connection here, something that's very deep. And I feel like you're wanting to get... I also feel like you could have to travel to see this person as well. Um, there could be distance between you two. I do feel like there's deep, this, this depth, there's a depth to this connection, but also deep belonging to one another, but I'm also seeing this, hearing this deep sadness, Leo, and I'm 
not really like this energy and I'm so sorry that you guys, if you guys are feeling this way right now, I'm so sorry and I hope that you guys heal and I know that you will heal through this, whatever you're going through, Leo. Five of Cups. I feel this very strained energy, like I just feel this disappointment that you have within this connection. I feel like you feel a bit disappointed with whoever this, this person is and maybe you're focused on the negatives that have happened in your life, Leo, or the negatives that, um, or the cups that have spilled milk instead, but there are two cups behind you. There are two cups that are behind you that have, those are opportunities. Those are new beginnings. Those are new adventures and new journeys that you could embark on. But I feel like right now there is a time you are kind of, you're dealing with the spilled milk. You're dealing with the disappointments that you have um, and I feel like you're tired of being disappointed. You're tired of people hurting you. You're tired of getting your heart broken. And you just want to meet somebody that will have bring light into your life. And I feel like you just feel disappointed because maybe this connection was going, there was a point in this time, a point in time when this connection was going very well in hearing. But things just happened and it led to this disappointment. It led to this sorrow that you guys have. Let me get clarification on this by the cups. Can I have clarification on five of cups? Five of coins. Um, five you, um, could be a significant number for you. Maybe you guys met on the fifth or someone's birthday is on the fifth. Also, five is April as well. So whatever, um, something significant could be coming for you guys in April. Okay. Yeah, I'm seeing it's also disappointing because you could have had a history of this person. This could have been somebody that you've known each other for quite some time. And this is, you could also have children with this person. It doesn't have to be for all, but you could have children with this person. Or you could have had a family with this person. And that's what makes it even harder, to the separation that you guys are going through. Or the feeling of disappointment within this connection. Because I think you were expecting a lot more from this person than what you were receiving back, Leo. Um, but I feel like you've been, you've been through hard times with this person. You've been through, um, and I feel like you're wanting to fight for this connection as well, but it's also like, you're also at the same time wondering like, is this worth the fight? You know, should I keep fighting for this connection or should I just move forward? And I think that you're at this internal battle from within your head because I feel like you are also at a point where you are trying to just... I almost feel like maybe you're trying to numb yourself out or not feel things right now in order to um, make a decision. I don't know who that is for. Hopefully that's not for everyone, but I do feel like it is just a very difficult time for you guys, And but you are trying to fight through this, and maybe you are strong. You're just, just remember, you are strong, Leo, and you'll be able to fight through this hard time, whatever you're going through. You'll be able to overcome this burden or this challenge in your life and be able to succeed and not only succeed in life but embark onto new journeys and new opportunities in your life as well okay let's get some of this person's feelings now i feel like a tickle in my throat so maybe some of you guys could be having allergies right now <laughs> um or maybe you feel like your sh throat chakra is closed maybe you just feel unable to speak to this person because your throat chakra feels closed you feel like you can't express yourself at this time this for i don't know who that is for nine of pentacles this person's definitely in isolation mode they're definitely um yeah they're juggling between um like or their responsibilities right now this person definitely has their eye on you though they're not they haven't forgotten you, Leo, that's for sure. They're not like, maybe for some you're thinking like, does this person even think of me? Do they, do I ever cross their mind? And you definitely do, Leo. We have the two of cups here. I This card also reminds me of the lovers. This is just signifying this could have been a true soulmate, this connection. Like the connection that you two have, you both felt the same feelings for one another. It wasn't just you. It wasn't a one-sided connection. This was definitely something that was very magical very a very beautiful bright connection something just very open and honest I'm hearing you're very you were very open with one another about how the, a lot of the the ways that you were feeling for each other and you're wanting to engage in this engage and open up to this person 
and you were all um, you were hopeful for the possibility things could work out between you two because maybe there were a lot of obstacles in the way maybe there was a lot of difference between the the way maybe like I said there were differences between you two that also maybe you were, were both attracted to but maybe it also hindered the connection in a way maybe the attraction for it was still there but for instance maybe like this is just an example like maybe for instance some one of you guys were messy like a kind of a more messier person the other friend's person is like a neat like a neat freak and they need things neat that's just an example <laughs> but it, is, it could really be anything but that's just an example maybe it just kind of caused a lot of chaos within the connection because one person wanted something a certain way and the other person wanted something another way or you know so it just but the, the, the thing is though even though this there were differences I think the time apart that you guys are having right now it's just making you guys think about each other a lot and this person is definitely thinking about you they're definitely think they definitely feel like you're still the one for them they definitely feel that strong bond with you like even if that time had passed they still feel some sort of strong bond that they can't get rid of with you they're hoping to reunite with you they're hoping that things can work out again for you that you'll be able to talk to you again okay Okay, Leo. The Emperor. You could be dealing with an Aries for some. This person can come across as a bit controlling at times. I feel like this person, they feel best when they have control over a situation I'm hearing. They feel best when they, then when things are, when they have the final say I'm hearing, which is not the it's not the best thing to, to read, honestly. I just feel like this person, um, I don't feel like they are, um, I don't feel like this person has bad intentions. I don't feel like this person's necessarily a bad person, but I do feel like they do have times when they can be a bit controlling, which is not the best aspect about this person. It's not the best, it's not the pretty side about this, not the pretty side of this person, honestly. There is a bit of a controlling side nature to this person where they feel like when they're out of control, they just, they don't know what to do, honestly. They they need to have feel in control of themselves and in control of situations. And I feel like with you, they maybe they had sent a text to you, I'm hearing, or maybe you didn't respond to them. And and this person is at a point where they're just like, what do I do? Like, how can I win? I almost said Aries. So you could definitely be doing with Aries. How do I win Leo back into my, like, how do I win Leo back? Like, how am I going to do that? Because they feel like they're losing grasp with the connection with you. They feel like they're losing their grasp on you. And, you know, that's a big fear of them. I do feel like that's something that could have also caused this relationship to end. It was their controlling nature. Maybe you didn't appreciate that. You didn't. And honestly, I don't blame you because I don't think some uh, relationship someone should be feel the need to control a relationship or control a person that's just I don't feel like that is right you know so let's see what's going on it does happen but I don't necessarily think that is the right move here to make uh five of pinnacles they're definitely <laughs> they feel like rejected by you they feel like you rejected th they feel that maybe you rejected them <laughs> Leo or you, yeah, you could have rejected this person, and this person is just, now they're starting to realize, like, like, I had a great thing with Leo, and I kind of screwed up, I kind of screwed up the relationship, and I had such a great thing with Leo, and why did I do that, why did I screw a good thing up, um, why did I let Leo leave, why did I let Leo go, when I could have fixed things, maybe there was something, they were going through something, um, I also feel like maybe they, at the time, they started to distance themselves from you, which is another reason that things didn't, maybe didn't quite work out, why you were disappointed, because maybe they weren't, you needed them to open up to you. You needed this person to own up to their mistakes or to open up to you and to work with you and compromise with you, but they were unwilling to, I'm hearing. Maybe they were unwilling to do that with you. They were unwilling to, to work things out, and they were just being a bit stubborn in their own ways, Leo, I'm hearing. Cross watchers also, if you feel like the rest of side is resonating, then you can go on to Leo's side as well. But they just feel a bit, they also feel disappointed. They also feel like they lost something good with you. And it was because they were stubborn. It was because they, they couldn't accept um, 
that they needed, maybe they needed to change. Maybe there were some things about them. They had bad habits, maybe, for instance, that they needed to work on, but they kind of refused to work on those bad habits. And in the end, that kind of, that kind of made the relationship not work out. And, but they are still thinking about you. They are still wondering if they will ever have a chance with you because they do want a chance with you. That's for sure. They did have a love with you. They did have that true romance with you. And it's not, they, the feelings were real. And I feel like for some, you could be wondering, like, does this person even feeling him for me? Because maybe they don't quite show it. But they do. They definitely did, and they still do. Um, but there are some things about this person that they need to work on through themselves. There is a lot that they are trying to work on through themselves. I'm seeing that self-care is very important during this person during this time, especially with this Nine of Pentacles being here. They're definitely at a time where they are focusing on self-care and trying to better themselves as an individual and as a person that could be potentially in a relationship in the future. With, if with you specifically, that's what they want, but just in a relationship in general is what they want, I'm hearing. Wow, Leo, that was such a deep reading. If you um, enjoyed this reading and you feel like it resonated, you can continue on with me in the extended version down below. The link will be down below for the extended version. If not, this is where we end it, and I hope things will get better for you, Leo. And I know they truly, truly feel like things will get better for you and that new opportunities and beautiful beginnings will come into your life. Just stay positive, you know, and stay safe out there. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!